Hello there, everybody. It's Sally here, back with another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, last week, I was talking about the power and the purpose of using sulfur. Mirido in your in your teaching in your piano teaching and um i just wanted to continue that thought today really i was doing a bit of reading about this during the week and um there was one person i, I came across i can't remember who it was right now but they were saying that um the beauty of sulfur is that you only have to master one key you have to understand the function of notes in just one key um, and then, of course, you can just transfer it, transpose it into all the other keys. So instead of having to learn 12 keys, you just learn one. And um, and then it kind of looks after itself, if you like. And I think the other beauty of it is that you understand um, everything that you do from an analytical point of view without even thinking about it. So, me, riddle. Those notes have a relationship together, and I understand that just by the notes that I'm singing. I wanted to go a little bit further today and introduce you, if you haven't heard of it before, to something called rhythm solfa. Rhythm solfa. And this is where we combine rhythm with pitch. But it's a pretty stave um, activity, and it's so powerful. It really does act as a bridge between the oral and the visual on the written stave. And it would look like this. I was trying to show, be very clever and show it you on my computer, but I couldn't work out how to do that. So this is a piece of rhythm solfa. Now, I'm not going to tell you quite what it is, actually. If you think you know when you're out there, then um, just jot down any thoughts you've got about what that piece is. Um, what I would do with a student is I would get them to tap the rhythm pattern first. And you can see there are four phrases there. So let's just do that together. OK, so we're starting from here, clearly, and you're going to tap it. And I'm going to use my rhythm language of um, ta and te, um, ti, ti, we'll use this one. So we're going to say, off we go. Ti, 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 ta. Ti, ti, ta. Ti, ti, ta. Ti, 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 ta. So I wonder whether you've guessed what the song is just from um, just from the rhythm, because it is quite recognisable. Mind you, I've got it in my head. I am here, by the way. Hello. Um, so that would be the rhythm pattern. And then I would actually get my students, I'd warm them up a little bit. And they can see that there were just three singing notes here. So I might warm them up a bit. I'll do some copy, a bit like this. Get that to copy. And I might do me, me, re, re, do. Might do me, re, me, re. Do, do, do. Okay. And I might do that, or things like that, for a few more minutes to make sure they've really got those singing names in their head and the relationships between them. Or then coming back to here, and I'll pull it up here again, and I'll just try and hold it straight. And this time we're going to see if we can sing the song using the singing names and combining it with the rhythm so far. If you think you know what it is, do jot it down. You can see I've got a few people there. So if you think you know what the song is, as soon as you know what the tune is, see if you can write it down because it is quite a well known one. Okay. Off we go, me, re, do, re, me, 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 re, 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 me, 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 re, do, re, me, 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 re, re, me, re, do. Got it? You know what it is? Mary had a little laugh. And just think about how powerful that could be. Before you, and Mary Had a Little Lamb is in quite a few tutor books, isn't it? So before they even see music for it, they actually have already sung it. They've actually already read it, but they've actually had to use their ear and engage without any kind of help at all. There is no pitch movement here. You haven't got any visual sense to flow at all. You completely have a musician having to work that out. 
really, really powerful. So the power of rhythm so far. And next week, I'm going to be going a little bit further. And I have got here a little mystery item. Here it is. Here's my mystery item. And I'll be showing you how I use the mystery item for in next week's Tuesday teaching tips. So see you then. Bye for now. Happy teaching.